Hi, and welcome to my studio. My name is Tony Henson. I'm an abstract painter in Tennessee. And I just wanted to let you know today a little bit about the information of my studio and what I do every day down here. So on this side is where I paint. I use old cookie sheets. Some of these I've had since college of about 20, 22 years. And they're really thick. They get a lot of weight to them. They use about three or four of these on a regular basis. You can see how thick the paint is from over the years. It's several inches thick, about three inches thick. I always paint with Utrecht Studio Series acrylic. I usually get the quartz because I go through a lot of paint each year. I also use uh, gesso for white paint because I use so much white. Sometimes I use a matte medium, uh, not often, but sometimes I'll use a medium. A variety of palette knives that I use from small to kind of bigger. This palette knife I've had for many years. You can see all the painting, uh, the dry paint underneath it. it. looks like a growth of something. And then I use this big squeegee uh, to push the paint around. Sometimes my hands. One of my favorite tools is this plastic um, utensil that I use. And I have cloth here to wipe the paint off of. This is the working easels that I have. I have a studio visit of a lady that's coming in Monday that's interested in uh, three by three foot paintings. So I have these two on my studio, um, in my studio ready. And on the back, my father-in-law makes all my easels and my stretchers. And he does a great job with my stretchers. I always have my name, the date, sometimes the size and the title on the back of them with screw eyes and wire. And this easel, my father-in-law built me about three or four years ago for my birthday that I really love. The pegs have a lot of paint from over the years built up on those. Probably need to get some new pegs soon. And I have, what I like a lot is quotes, um, celebration of seeing, paint, don't think, don't chase your work. And my, one of my favorites from Joe Mitchell, find what you love and let it kill you. I have uh, color, different different um, colors to mix on there. I have these as inspiration. Some of my favorite, favorite artists I have out, Brian Rutenberg, Gerhard Richter. Got another one by Richter there. Mark Rothko at the top. And then over here, Joe Mitchell. These are my three top favorite artists, Gerard Richter, Joe Mitchell, and Mark Rothko. Uh, I have Brian Rutenberg down here, uh, Sam Gillum. I have uh, Venom that I did when I do some body art sometimes. All these are my brushes that I use. Some I start out really thick. Okay, and start like a bricklayer and end like a jeweler. So I have a big brush there. All the way down to these tiny brushes for the detail. I always listen to music. This is my speaker and my iPod. And I definitely know which button does what, although you can't see it. But I've listened to Pearl Jam for five years now, always when I paint. And that's what I was listening to when my mom passed away. On this side of the wall, I have all these articles from newspaper. This is back in my college days. At Western Kentucky here at ETSU working on my MFA there. My artist statement, uh, different notes and cards from students that I've had over the years. Um, invitations for receptions. This is Zenith Gallery that I'm represented in Washington, D.C. This is the reception that's there next Friday. Uh, articles and magazines. This is from Charlotte. I have big stacks of paintings here that are almost four by five feet. Another one of my favorite quotes, start like a bricklayer and like a jeweler. I uh, have different quotes on the back wall there. My favorite word, one of my favorite words is inspire right above the door here. That's got a little bit of storage space in the studio. And that's what I think that uh, I was meant to do was to inspire people. And hopefully I do a great job of it. This side of the studio, because my studio is an L shape, is the storage area. This is where I store my canvas, which is a huge roll uh, of canvas. That's, I'm six foot two, 240 pounds, so it's a big roll of canvas. It's really tall, and I usually order about one of these a year from uh, off of eBay for about 60 bucks, and this lasts a long time. 
I have uh, paintings that I just picked up from my Knoxville show at the Emporium Center here. I've got Brian Rutenberg's uh, saltwater show that he had at the Forum Gallery, postcards of that, and from uh, New York City. I got one of my favorite paintings, Ocean, Oceans. I've got Cascade that's four by three foot. This is the last painting that I'm working on. So if you want to kind of zoom in and look at the detail, the little plastic tool that I showed you, this is what made this mark and they're really small brushes. This is what I use for the green of the gradation from permanent green all the way down to a mixture of uh, yellow and green. And this the is the gradation on the side that goes down from warm to cool all the way down the bottom. <laughs> this is a big canvas that I've stretched I'm ready to get working on. A uh, magazine that I was in, catalog in Annapolis, American Contemporary Gallery, and uh, had two pages in that magazine, which was a great honor. This is an interview that I was in um, in Atlanta, Art of Agio Gallery in Atlanta, Georgia. And I have a stack. If I do have people coming over for studio visits, I have a stack of my business cards. And you can see my website, TonyHensonArt.com. So I have different brochures and flyers, I have stacks of paintings for when people come over. They can just kind of browse through different works that I have, different stacks, different prices. This is a gallery's guide to Washington and Baltimore in Zenith Gallery, the artist in Zenith Gallery. Got the cover, which is really cool. And on page four, you can see my name. And I'm one of the new artists to Zenith Gallery in Washington, D.C., which is always great. So this is where I paint. This is my clothes. I kind of sit back in my comfortable chair to where I paint. And this is my shirt that I paint in. It is really hard and thick of paint. These are the pants that I use when I paint. And once they get to a point to where it's so brittle and thick, I'll just trash them and start over and get other ones. I wear Crocs when I paint because they're comfortable and they're always covered in paint. So in about another six months or so, they're really cheap. I get them in Ikea and I'll um, buy some more to use. So this is pretty much the work area where I do private lessons and... Uh, teach people private painting lessons, abstract painting lessons. I got paint all over the floor. I kind of have these cushions down to help me because I'm always on my feet. So this kind of gives me support when I'm working down here. Usually my work time or work schedule, I teach two colleges during the day and then I'll paint from about 9 o'clock or 9.30 at night to about 1 in the morning. And usually I'm down here about four, four days a week. Rarely ever paint on weekends. And this is the side that I have for studio visits when people come over this is the clean side, and this is the messy side that's really uh, worked out. And you can get a shot of the wall over there, and you can see all the mistakes. So, thanks a lot for coming and kind of into my world, my sanctuary, to my painting studio, and visit my artwork on TonyHensonArt.com. Thanks a lot.